everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i really hope you're having a fabulous morning thus far now we're going to be talking about what is going on across the atlantic as per usual and here we can see that there is some activity across some areas so offshore of the united states we've got that increase in shower and thunderstorm activity there is an airflow pressure nearby some of that extends into parts of the northern Bahamas and further out into the Atlantic, not affecting anyone, is a trough. So there's a trough right there and you can see all that convection in association with it. And that's going to be loitering around and eventually dissipating out there. Now as we head toward the Caribbean though, we can see that there are some patches of clouds moving in, especially toward the Lesser Antilles. And that has been uh, resulting in a bit of rainfall activity across some areas, such as Barbados, uh, St. Vincent, going towards St. Lucia, parts of Martinique, Dominica, and even to areas such as Antigua, Montserrat. There's been a few showers moving by this morning. And uh, elsewhere though, there isn't much happening, but as we're going to be heading through today, this is the rainfall forecast. So as this map becomes more colorful, that is a sign of more rain within the area. But overall, less than an inch of rain across the Caribbean on a whole. So there could be some additional shower activity across parts of the uh, northern and central Bahamas. And a few showers passing by parts of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, even Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But as we head towards the Lesser Antilles, uh, especially toward the Windward Islands, we can see that it gets a little bit more colorful within the area. So the aforementioned countries likely to experience some more rainfall as uh, those clouds make their way by. And then down to Trinidad, Tobago, a few showers may move by, nothing crazy today. Down to Northern South America, though, it's been uh, this kind of story where there isn't much really happening, but some shower activity is certainly possible today, even near the ABC Islands as well. And then for Central America, it should be sunny for the most part, but uh, that doesn't take away the fact that there may be some downpours, especially in countries such as Costa Rica and Panama. As we head through today, uh, winds are likely to be uh, gentle to moderate across the region. So for the most part, maybe winds up to 20 uh, miles per hour or so with higher gusts and uh, even stronger winds offshore areas such as Colombia and even near the Bay Islands of Honduras. So you can see some of those more yellowish shadings there. So the winds are expected to be a little bit stronger there as we head through today. Now, in terms of the cold fronts, is there a chance that we're going to be seeing a lot more of them as we head into the next couple of weeks? Let's talk about it for a moment. So, cold fronts, they typically affect the Caribbean within the winter months of the Northern Hemisphere. So, we have the greatest temperature contrast. We've got a lot of cool air coming from North America and, of course, warm, moist, tropical air. And when they meet, we get that storm system developing and eventually a frontal boundary. And so, with that happening, uh, that boundary as it makes its way out of the U.S. move into the southeast, then it is likely to impact the Caribbean. And there is no doubt that we've had a lot of that this year. And the typical weather conditions to expect include that uh, change in wind direction, that drop in temperature as well, especially as the boundary passes, increased rainfall activity across some areas and uh, even those more unsettled seas things getting a bit windier as well so that's typically what to expect with the cold fronts especially the stronger ones and uh, there is no doubt that we've had that this winter and uh, that is kind of due to El Nino as well El Nino has allowed for some of these uh, storm systems to develop a bit further south in the U.S. which would allow some of the stronger fronts to make their way into the Caribbean and be a bit more impactful so that was expected because of El Nino but as we're going to be heading into spring there is going to be sort of a halt in this frontal activity for the caribbean because things are going to be warming up and eventually the rainy season is going to be kicking in the hurricane season as well uh, we'll have the, uh, these tropical waves moving off of africa making their way toward the west some of which will develop so that is what is expected guys we're going to see a gradual decrease in all of this frontal activity and it's even warm right now across some countries i mean not very very hot because we're not in summer but uh it is still warming up we're in the tropics so it's generally warm all year round there isn't a very huge temperature difference so a couple more fronts are definitely possible as we head into the next few weeks but of course i'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening so that is it for right now i do hope you found this video to be very informative and if you have any questions do feel free to leave them down in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be with wise